we're all dreamers. We all have objectives. We all have things that we want to achieve in life. At least that's what I thought to be true. I don't believe that to be true any longer. I believe some people are just complacent and happy doing what they do each and every single day. I've always wanted to strive to be more, such as some of my favorite anime characters, Luffy, Gojo, never really, well, yeah, Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. I want to be the best of the best. I want to be somebody that can defeat any enemy that stands in my way because I do not stand for things that just are mediocre. Too often I have been told whenever I bring up certain ideas, ideologies, perspectives that, hey, you shouldn't be doing this. This isn't the thing that you should be doing. What you should be doing is creating, following the rules of the system, of the game, of how you're supposed to do this or how you're supposed to do that. And I don't believe that to be true, at least not anymore. I believe we should be able to pave our own path. I believe that we have this ability to do things that are outside of our scope of reality and comprehension. And I've seen this time and time and time again. And it's come to my realization that maybe the way that I have been approaching it to certain individuals in person is not the best way to go about it. I'm starting to shift my mentality kind of like some of our characters that we see through our favorite animes like Gojo once he was defeated by Toji he shifted his character he shifted who he was as a person he started to understand the world in ways that he didn't originally understand them he was only able to do that specific thing because he went through a near-death experience these near-death experiences give us a new perspective they give us a new reality they give us a new view and ideas on how to live in a daily world and there's a thing from the Zom 100 as well that I've been watching it's not all about work like yes work is important but it's not about work at a corporate company the work is the work that you want to do and how you want to spend your days and the best part about our reality and about the world that we live in nowadays with thanks to the internet we can live life any way we want to. There doesn't have to be this, oh, I have to go put on this front to be able to look a certain way at this corporate event. I have to say and avoid saying certain things because they make people feel uncomfortable because that's just what they don't want to think about. They don't want it to go super deep. They don't want to look at inside themselves and be like, huh, can I do something better? How can I be better? What areas of improvement do I need to do? Why don't I want to say this specific thing? And it's like I'm talking with these people and I'm telling them these things and they're like, Oh yeah, I go to therapy. I don't think, at least I don't believe this to be true, that they are actually implementing the things that the therapy is helping them with. I personally have never been to therapy. I personally have never gone down that route. Instead, I put myself in situations such as this. I expose myself to the things that I struggle with the most to realize that there's really nothing to be afraid of other than our own thoughts too often. And I only just recently came to this conclusion and maybe that's the problem with why things are struggling so much because people would tell me like what it was and how to do certain things such as like communicate do sales. And until I started doing it myself, it's a little bit different, but it's also kind of the same. It's a tough and a thin line that we walk when we do these types of things. The funny thing about everything that I guess we go through is a lot of things that we have, not everybody's going to believe. Everybody that I've talked with so far believes everything to be external. And some of the things and events that I have, they're like, maybe they aren't all connected. Maybe they aren't this way and maybe they aren't. It's just from what I've been able to see from my own personal experience, from the things that I have done personally, the things are connected. The things are one and the same. They aren't this different way of viewing the world. They aren't this different reality that we so often seem to believe to be true. Instead, everything is just within us. It's within our own mind. It's within our own head. Nothing is separate from what I believe in my head and what I see there. It just may take more time for it to come to fruition. And yeah, you can look at it as a mindfulness, a manifestation, a different type of perspective. It's just at the end of the day, from what I've been able to glean from my own personal experiences. And trust me, when I first heard this, I was skeptical of it as well. I was just like, let's let me just try it. Let's let me see if this is actually true. And once I started to put it into action, it's like, oh, okay, this is. There's multiple times that it's happened. Last night, we went on a boat cruise. And this boat cruise, this may or may not exactly relate to anime, but there's this boat cruise that we went on to. And maybe there are characters 
that we do run into where this could relate. Everything's correlated in some way, shape, or form. It's just a matter of finding the ways that they are related. Nonetheless, I went on this cruise and I had a vision a couple months ago back in May where I was like, okay, this is what I see. This is what I'm going to do. And I thought it was in a different situation. It's just that exact same thing came true last night where there was a party upstairs. and I, I was down by myself because that was what I wanted to do. I saw myself in this situation. And this is the funny part about this was this was back in May. This was back in May when this, ta- when this happened. It wasn't a month ago. It wasn't at any other time. It was back in May. And I saw this vision of there's a party upstairs. There's a party somewhere else. And I'm sitting by myself. And in that time, it just happened the other night. I thought it was going to be for my birthday party. It wasn't for my birthday party. It was for a work event. And this work event that I've been going to, this work event that I've been seeing, this work event that I've, I guess, experienced, has brought to light certain things that have shown me that this isn't where I want to be. This isn't what I want to be doing. This isn't the world that I want to be a part of. Like, yeah, it's cool. I can make a like a decent amount of money. It's just if I go out and I do my own thing, like a lot of our characters do in our favorite animes, from that point, I can achieve hundred times more than what I can achieve right now. Because obviously and clearly, there is a community of people out there similar to myself. Otherwise, I wouldn't have the audience that I do on this specific platform of me releasing these types of videos. And yes, I'm not breathing very much because these are the things that I just, I have been holding these in because I was worried. And clearly, I can show you why, because it's intimidating to people. Not everybody and that's just how it is. Some people are intimidated and apparently say that I make them feel uncomfortable. And I can look at that and I can question myself and I'm like, okay, what am I doing that's making these people feel uncomfortable? What have I done to put somebody in that situation? And they're saying, oh, it's a bunch of people. It's just, I haven't ran into one person, not one, one person that has come to my face and told me like, hey, this is what's happening. So I believe, and I could be wrong with this, that the case to what's actually happening is I'm making this happen myself. And obviously, yes, everything I do is my fault. It's my responsibility. Some may say it's not. Some may say it is. From how I've lived my life, everything is on me. Like I just take responsibility. I move on and I have those discussions, the interactions, the people that I need to talk with that will bring me down the right path. And this boat tour that we were on just recently, when I was sitting down on the deck below, the captain came down. And he had this, we were talking, like, he was just a nice guy. Like, he's like, oh, you're a solitary man. And I was like, yeah, like, that's just what I am. I've always been a solitary man. I enjoy my alone time. I don't need to have people. Like, I like people. I love people. It's just I find the most amount of joy and fulfillment out of just doing things by myself. Like, that's just how it is. Like, yeah, I love people. They're fantastic. It's just people come with problems. People come with lack of understanding they just want to stay surface level and i've never been somebody that just wants to stay surface level i want to get deep i want to get to the answer i want to figure out where the problem lies solve that problem and then move on to the next one and since i feel like i've solved a lot of my own personal problems there may still be some other ones and i may end up going and talking to somebody we'll see see how i feel because i've always just trusted my intuition I'm not entirely sure It's just when I am talking with people in person about these types of things, they seem to be like, what are you talking about? So though I get maybe it might not be the best thing. It's just then I see people online and I'm like, as I've said beforehand, if I'm just reaching four or five people, even if I'm just reaching one different person and it changes the entire trajectory of your life because you decided to give what I'm talking about a chance, then I've made my impact. I've done what I needed to do. I can't change everybody's perspective. And I should have learned that a long time ago. It's just, I didn't have the experience. I didn't have the knowledge. I didn't have the know-how to say like, yes, this is what I need to do. After going through sales, after making hundreds of thousands of calls, like, dude, if you saw the amount of calls that I made in the past two years, I think it's like right around 24,000, 26,000 calls. If we did the math, it's I think around a hundred a day ish or so for the past two years, I've been making that many calls because I needed to learn how to have conversations with people and how to interact with people, how to sell an idea, how to express myself and my ideas. And that's actually a really good point because everything I do, do I do it for a reason? I might not know the reason at the specific time, 
It's just when I go back and I look back on a specific event, it's like, okay, this is what the reason was. This is the reason why I did this specific thing. Like, there's a thing that Alex Hormozzi talks about, which since this is the anime community, this is the anime world, in all likelihood, you guys probably don't know who Alex Hormozzi is. And that's perfectly okay. Because a lot of the people that I've been talking to that are in sales, you guys, this is the crazy part. People that are in sales don't even know about the value equation. And that just blows my mind away. It doesn't even make sense. You don't know what you don't know until you don't know it. And when you do know it, it's like, oh, you know it. And that's why I like experimenting with things. That's why I like trying. That's why I like failing. That's why I like just using my systems to be able to make sure I can reach the goal and place that I want to be. I don't know where the chip comes from. I think the chip comes from me just being an only child, being the oldest and being like, I want to just be the best that I possibly can because I don't want to let somebody down. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe that's where I get the talking with other people involved with these types of things. But I just, I do it. I mean, I've been doing so well by myself. Like in order to live an extraordinary life, I have to do the extraordinarily difficult things. Like I've broken down over these past couple of months regarding this because I have to I'm gonna be doing some very very difficult things. In the long run, it's gonna work. It's gonna be the best thing that I could have done. Cool. I'm in the bathroom recording this right now. I'm just staring at myself and I figured this I want to do it a little bit different because these are the conversations that I have with myself. These are the conversations where I'm looking at myself and I'm like, okay, what can I do differently? What can I do better? How can I improve? What areas am I lacking in? What areas do I need to slightly tweak? And then how can I correlate certain things? Because dude, at the end of the day, everything is connected. Like you have the tree of life. You have all these other perspectives of things being connected in ways that we didn't originally understand them to be connected to. At least I didn't. I didn't think that like black meant white and white meant black. You can't have one without the other. So like I can't be God and not have the devil by my side as well. There's always going to be an opposite, a negative and a positive. There always is. There's always been a negative and a positive in Jujutsu Kaisen. There's always been a negative and a positive in really any endeavor that we go after. There's never a time when there's not a negative and there's not a positive. There always has to be an equal and opposite reaction. I believe that's Newton's third law of physics. So I'm like, you know what? Let's let me just do what I'm good at. Let's let me just do what I know how to do. Let's let me excel in the ways that I know how to excel in because I'm not going to be holding myself back anymore, dude. Like I'm trying to put on this front and it's just like, it's not me, bro. I don't know. It's just, it's not me who I am. I'm just, I'm this dude that just loves to work. I'm this dude that understands that I can have anything and everything that I want. I don't have to set self-limiting beliefs on me to be able to achieve the things that I want to in my life. I don't have to be that person. Too many, too often people do that and I listen to him all the time I'm like that's all you want I'm like if that's all you want that's cool just don't talk me out of that and I'm not gonna be talked out of it because I've seen what's possible I've seen it from other people and if somebody else can do it then I can do the exact same thing and that's the crazy thing about the world in general is once something's achievable and somebody sees that it's possible it's like wow okay what do I do from here You want to have a million subscribers? Mr. Beast has done that exact same thing. You want to run a four-minute mile? So-and-so has done that exact same thing. And that's a Russell Brunson story that I don't actually really know, but it's something that is possible. You want to climb the corporate ladder like I did? You can do that. You can do anything that you set your mind to. Too often, you get talked out of it by other people. Other people's opinions are mattering more than your own opinion. You have to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, hey, what do I need to do? How can I become better? What about myself, my actions, my beliefs 
can I change and what do I need to do to be able to get to that point? Because once I understand that, this whole world, this whole new world, it opens. It changes, it transpires. You're like, wait, this is possible? And it doesn't have to just be with money. It's just for me, personally. Money's been the thing that has driven me. The need to be number uno, number uno in the field, or at least just have the ability to be at that point. So I'll just put in more work than anybody else does. Like, if I need to make this happen, I'm going to bet on myself. Because the one person that I know not going to let me down because too many other people have let me down in my life is me. I'm the one person, the one good person that doesn't let himself down. I don't. I've always been here for me. Every single day. I show up for me. I'm not showing up for anybody else because nobody seems to show up for me. It's my life. I get to make the decisions. I get to decide. I get to. It's my decision. And yeah, people aren't going to like what I do. I can already tell you that much. I know that. The thing is, we need people like that. Look at Andrew Tate. Look at Alex Ramosi. He does things slightly different. He does live a very different life. He doesn't have a lot of friends, just like myself. And I thought that was a bad thing. I thought I needed to have this big, big group of people that I surrounded myself with. I thought that was who I needed. I thought that's what I needed to do. It's like, no. You don't. What I really should be doing right now, what I should have done, is have the camera so you could actually see me do what I'm doing right now. Because I believe this to be true. Like, we have these capabilities. We have this world that we don't understand. And this world that we don't understand is within our reach. It's just a matter of believing it. And if you can believe in something, anything, it doesn't matter what it is. If you want to be a person that has 10 dogs, have 10 dogs. I have another channel. I believe it was called Bend the Masses. And you guys can check that out. Because I had one. And I've had experiences, you guys. Trust me. Check out that channel. Look at it. If you've made it this far, just take a look. And maybe I'll link some of the videos down below. We'll see. We'll see. There was an event where I was like, you know what? A couple minutes from now, we're going to have a dog walk down the street. Not five minutes later, there's a dog walking down the street. If we just believe what's possible, there is no outside and there is no inside. It is just this. Whatever we have right now, this right here is everything. There is no outside of me. Whatever is outside of me has happened inside of me. And this isn't something that's going to happen overnight. This is a very much more, I guess, what would be the word? This is a much more, I had a cult, but I know it's not that. Philosophical, no. I mean, slightly philosophical view of the world. I'm trying to think of the right word. Objective? Conscientious. It's a much... Relative? It's just, it's just a different view from how a lot of the world and how we're taught to believe. Like... Well, we aren't even taught to believe. We're told what to do our entire lives. We're told you go to the job, you have a nine to five, you work your ass off, you clock in, you clock out, you go home, you have a family, you have kids, you do this, that, the other thing, and you live a happy go lucky life. I don't get it. I don't. If you guys could see my face right now, you'd be like, Really? Really? There's a little smirk, a smirk like, what what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Because, dude, it does not, it doesn't make sense. To me, at least. Some people love that. But I know that if you're listening to this content, if you made it this far, if you're here right now, you're not like the rest of the people. You're somebody that has had an experience that has changed your life. You're somebody that has been in the world and has seen things that you cannot describe. If you guys watch the Daily Dose of Internet, I've watched some of those videos lately, even just on Instagram the other day. There's these things that are shown 
that it's like, how is this created by man? How can man create like a 3D screen? Look at the thing in Vegas, okay? So they have this sphere in Vegas that quite literally looks like a TV ball screen. It's the coolest thing in the world. Musk, he has ideas of being able to put plants in our brain to make us smarter. It's the Wright brothers. They created a plane. There's all these, I don't know, there's all these like crazy ideas. I, I, I can name off dozens of them. <laughs> That's the cool thing is like these ideas become real and they become real because somebody had the idea and they implemented it on that specific idea. Somebody was like, you know, I want to have gyms all over the country. Now there's gyms all over the country. Somebody was like, I had the idea and I want to live in a van. It's like, now there's vans all over the country and everybody's like, I want to do this. Or it's like, I want to get into camping. Or it's like, I need to get out of Grand Junction and I need to come back home. So let's start a pandemic. It's like, there's... (laughs) If you just spend the time, if you just spend the time, just look at the world. Look at the world. Look at the events. Look at what's happening in your life right now. Just truly, just look at that. Is this where you want to be? Is this what you want to be doing? Are these the things that you enjoy happening? If they are, cool. You can stay there. If they aren't, if you're like me and you're like, you know, I want more. I want to do more. I want to be more. I want to push myself more. I want to experience more. I want to talk with more people. I want to challenge more assumptions. I want to ask these big idea questions. Then you're in the right place. If you don't want to and you love what you do right now, like you have a family, you have kids, you have this house, you're close with your parents, you have a lot of friends, and that's what makes you happy, so be it. Go do that thing. For me personally, I don't find fulfillment in that. I do to a certain extent. A little bit. I'd rather be on my own. I would. I'll have other people do work for me. No problem with that. Like, that is on my channel lately. I love them. They're fantastic. They're doing a great job. For me personally, I'm like, dude, I've done the work. I know I can do the work. I've proven it to myself time and time and time again. So now I might as well just make the right things happen. I might as well do the things that need to happen because we're living in a time that's never been easier. We're living in a time where anything is possible. We're living in a time where whatever you want is within reach. And I believe everybody puts themselves in the situations that they want to be in because that's where they want to be. It is. It's a hard pill to swallow and a lot of people aren't willing to take the responsibility of that specific thing. And it's funny. Okay. Here's the thing. Poor people are going to tell you not to take responsibility. And I'm not saying like poor as in like $30,000, $40,000 a year. Not that type of poor. I'm talking like $100,000, $120,000 a year. They're like, yeah, I get what I want. I enjoy life. And they that's what they want. That's okay. It's just they're like, not everything's your fault. Everything's always my fault. Everything. Everything's always on me. There's no one else to blame. Why would I put the blame on somebody else? And that's part of the reason why like more of God's within me instead of God's an outside external source because it's on me. It's my fault. Like it truly is. People say like, oh, that's not on you. That's not, you didn't cause this. You didn't cause that. It's like, I did. What am I going to, what am I going to do next time to make sure that I don't cause it again? Like I can't fix other people's problems, but I can fix my own problems. I can't fix my problems that I have with myself. And I broke down today. I broke down the other day as well, too. With one of the guys, with the captain on the ship that I was telling you about. I broke down with him. Because he said, when you're in, if you're in no rush, like, does it really matter? He even said something, too. He's like, oh, yeah, there's people upstairs. 
I'm like, yeah. And he's like, maybe they aren't even real. And I heard him say that. I was like, what? Yeah, I know. Everybody is real. Don't get me wrong. They're only real if we make it real. Because it's like there's no meaning. There isn't. There's no meaning whatsoever. And yet there is. Because it's it's crazy. And most people, I don't think, look at it this way. At least from the people that I've talked with. They don't believe that what they're seeing right now, they're seeing for a reason. From what I've been able to put together. Like, for me... I saw the online dating community. I was like, oh, hey, this is perfect. This is awesome because it introduced me to a world that I didn't know because I didn't know what I was going to be doing with my life. Like I had a couple of ideas, but I, I didn't have like a general perspective. And I was like, okay. And then that then led me to this next place, which this next place was then I was learning about business. I was learning about marketing. I was learning about sales. Like I was reading books about personal development, self-help. I was, I was doing all these things. Okay. And then from that point, I, I I knew I needed to get out of the town of Grand Junction. I knew it was time for me to leave, even if I didn't necessarily know it was time for me to leave. Just after I went to Australia, I was like, okay, I need to I need to do something different. I need to get into a place where I can work through some of the other things that I had yet to work through. And I think these are the things that I've had to work through this year is understanding that my parents want one thing for me and I want something else for me. And I've always said, like, step away from your parents or at least just, like, don't value your parents' opinion over somebody else's opinion. And I did do that with my dad. My dad, I started not valuing his opinion as much. I love him to death. Like, he's fantastic. I didn't do that with my mom because I thought my mom was on my side. I did. I truly did. And I think she still is in a certain regard. I just think she still has this different notion of who I should be and I would rather die to her than die to myself and that's a quote that I heard from Alex Hormozzi and I think it's true I've learned lots of quotes from successful people that I look up to because I want to be in a place where they're I want to be in a place where I'm on stage speaking in front of an audience and telling my stories of what has transpired and the people that have inspired me and the only way that I know how to do something like that is by starting here. I've had conversations like this, and maybe I'll remake videos on my channel, um, Caleb Quimby, more public one day. Like, And maybe I'll do that now. We'll see. Because, dude, if you guys saw where I was at with those videos, like, dude, they're cringeworthy. They are cringeworthy. I don't even want to watch them. They're that bad. Yeah. If I wouldn't have done them, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have this expertise. I wouldn't have this knowledge. I wouldn't have this skill set of being able to just have a conversation like this. I wouldn't have these. I would just be sitting in front of a TV. And like I've said multiple times throughout this conversation is sometimes we can just have a conversation. Sometimes we can just do what we want to do. Like I've been at the time where I've watched TV. Like clearly I watch anime still. Like I still do things that I enjoy to do. I don't spend as many hours on that specific thing. Maybe if I had more medical training or if I had more schooling, I could understand this a bit better. But just from what I've been able to glean from the people that I have listened to, life's not about TV. It's not about video games. It's about doing what you want to do every single day. And that's always been the question I've asked myself. I'm like, because the whole pickup artist thing, like I was like, yeah, this is cool. Like the whole game community, I was like, yeah, this is interesting. This is fun. I just, I couldn't see myself doing that for the rest of my life. So I didn't pursue it as much as I wanted to because I was like, I would like to find the one. I would like to have an amazing wife one day. And I like for us to have kids. I like for her to be the type of woman that's just like, yeah, you go work, you go do your thing. I'll be here when you're home and I'll support you in anything that you do. Like I would personally rather have like a stay at home wife and that's just my perspective. I would rather have a traditional woman. Yeah. That could get me canceled. I'm done beating around the bush. I'm done beating around the, like 
around people's feelings of what they want me to say and who they want me to be. I'm going to be who I need to be. I'm going to be my authentic self. And I've always been able to be my authentic self in this situation. And it's funny because when I do start to be my authentic self and I am listening and looking at people when I'm talking to them, they do appear to be engaged with what I'm saying. There does seem to come a point where it's like, this is too much for me. And I'm like, dude, we've barely even scratched the surface. And maybe that's something that I need to improve on is like, yo, we'll start here. We'll work on this small little thing. You go off and reflect because that is actually probably exactly what I need to do. Cause I've done a lot of reflecting in my days. Like I, I bro, look at my Instagram. I'll try and uncensor some of those videos as well too. All I was doing was meditating in the middle of grand junction. I did that for four, three, four years. I did that for, yeah, I'd say four years about I still meditate too. Nowadays, not as frequently as I would like. Cause it's noisy, dude. It's noisy nowadays. And I think that's what happens as we get older. We get all these other people's voices within our head. We get these other people telling you, oh, you need to do this, or you fucked up here, or you messed up this, or you did that, or blah, 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 and we need you to do this and be here, blah, blah, and make people feel comfortable because you're making them feel too insignificant. It's like, bro, why don't you want to challenge your assumptions? What's causing you this discomfort? Because that's a you problem. And that's the funny part, dude. That's, I think, the biggest thing for me right now is I was told, like, hey, don't worry about the opinions of others. And then, yep, yeah, you're over here telling me, like, hey, you hurt somebody's opinion. Like, if somebody doesn't like what you're doing, it's like, what? It's a double standard. And I get, like, okay, you're going to take the side of the person that is more valuable than myself, perceived to be more valuable than myself at this time. It's your biggest mistake. It's your biggest mistake. Okay. Okay. I think I just figured something out. I think I just figured something out.